Oh my gosh, the same thing. Watch if I start reeling it, maybe he'll eat it. Yep, he did. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh my God. Yo, yo, let's go, let's go. That's him, that is him. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, it's huge, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. I have a few little top I have a I have a I have a couple topics I want to talk to you guys about before we even hop into this. First of all, let's talk about the video. So this video I actually have already filmed. I didn't film an intro for it. I just went out and went fishing. Fishing has been very tough recently. I actually went out to this pond. If you guys are wondering why I've been filming a ton of bank fishing videos back to back to back too, um, it's because the weather's just been really weird and you only get a couple hours to fish for the most part. And it's been like, you know, you get a couple hours, it ends up raining and then you get another hour here and it ends up raining. It's like, I don't want to take the kayak and boat out in that, to be honest with you. But I will say, stay tuned for some boat videos. We're going to be having some river videos coming soon. I'm thinking about dropping um, Fishing for River Monsters season four in the next couple of weeks. So I'm really excited about that one. But yeah, for this video, I actually ended up going out just basic fishing and I figured something out that was so crazy to me. Like I've never done anything like it. The way I was working my bait was interesting. The way the fish that were, the way the fish were responding to the bait was just interesting. The whole video has a ton of great learning points. I learned a ton from this video, just going out and fishing. And I think if you guys watch what I did in the video and you go apply it to where you're at today, I think you're gonna end up smacking the fish on it. So just keep that in mind. Don't be skipping through. I've really watched this video closely and see what I did throughout the day because I explained the whole process and it's gonna help you catch bigger fish in um, some of the smaller ponds. And it's just gonna help you catch more fish you know, every single time you go out. And that's my main goal, you guys know, is I wanna help you guys out, get you guys catching some fish, get you with that big bass energy. And uh, yeah. So I wanna talk about the Yachty video. I know you guys have been asking about it. Everyone's like, Noah, what is up with the Yachty video? Why haven't you released it? Listen guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. This is kind of out of my hands right now. Um, it was getting approved by Lil Yachty's record label to use some of his music in the video. Therefore, you know, I couldn't drop it yet. So we're, we're handling that this week and I'm hoping that the video is gonna be dropped in a few days. Don't mark my words on it, but just stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled. Stay tuned to my Instagram too. I'll pop it up on the screen. Go give me a follow there. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm so excited to drop you because it's, it's an awesome video. It's something that has never been done in this industry. No one's done it before. Um, this is big, man. This is really big, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But let's go ahead and hop into this video. If you're new to the channel, by the way, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Do all that stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video. All right, guys. Just made it out to the pond. We got us the new Six Sense Frog. We're gonna be trying out today. I've been wanting to get frog fishing for a while and we're just gonna to try to make it happen. You know, I, I don't know if it's, this is the perfect place to fish a frog, but what I will tell you is that we're just gonna give it a shot. See if we can catch some big ones on a frog. That would be awesome if we could make it happen. We're in this little pocket right now. There's not really any chop on the water. There's no wind, which is perfect. If you look towards the main water over there, there still is a little chop. I don't know if that's gonna be the best for the frog, but this pocket looks really good. Hopefully we can pick one up, but we're just gonna cover water. See if we can catch them on a frog today. That was money. So we just tried that frog and I really didn't have much luck. So I got a stroker crawl on a Texas rig right now. I also have some clouts in my pocket that we might end up throwing, but you can't go wrong with a Texas rig, especially with how the bite's been recently. So, you know, we're just gonna stick with something slow, cover some water, see if we can end up getting some big bites. But that's the whole plan. I threw that frog around for a little bit. With the fishing and how it's been, I just don't, I don't think they're gonna come up and eat it. I feel like I would have had some sort of a sign. I was throwing it for a good second. I don't know, it's kind of trying to pull off the impossible right there. I've been dying to get on a frog bite and this place isn't the best for a frog unless all these fish are just pushed up shallow and you know, feeding. So I don't know, we're gonna just stick to the Texas rig, try to catch some fish. If we have to adapt later on in the day, then that's what we'll do. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can catch a few and get them on the bank. Oh, 
one's just hammering me. What in the world? That was weird. It's like one hard thump and that's it. Nothing else. It was just like boom. That was it. Didn't even hold on to it. That's weird. Oh my god. He's got it. Yes. <laughs> Look how small he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He was following it the whole time. I had a feeling. I was like, I wonder if he's still following it. I wonder if it felt so hard. It was one of these little guys just pecking at it. That's funny. First fish today, you guys know it doesn't really matter the size. I like to just get one. Get one on the bank. That's always a good sign. So first fish today. Got that out of the way. Nothing big, but um, it's a bass. Thank you, buddy, for gaining my confidence right there. Now let's see if we can go in and catch one about five times the size. <laughs> My stroker crawl is a little messed up, but heck, I still caught that fish on it. It only has one claw. I ended up getting a bit off. I don't have my stroker crawls with me. I have my um, my clouts with me, but I don't have my stroker crawls. We're going to keep on throwing it until we can't anymore. <laughs> oh, another one did the same thing as the last one did. Oh my gosh, the same thing. Watch if I start reeling it, maybe he'll eat it. Yep, he did. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, not a bad one. Oh my God, they love that. Same as the last one, bit the same way, except he's like five times bigger. Boom, two pounder, let's go. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Look at that, yes. That's a solid two pound bass, barely had him hooked. Oh my gosh, yes. Pretty sure that was the second cast after the last one. Now we're catching them. I said I need one about five times that size, and we got one about four times the size of that last one. That is a beautiful bass, quality fish, thick belly, thick body. That is awesome. Let's go. I think I figured out how they want it now. He bit it the same way, and I started reeling it, and then he ate it. That is so crazy. Pretty fish. Let's get her right back in. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Oh, that was a quality one. Now we need one about two to three times the size of that one. That would really be upgrading. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, now this has me worried because I only have this one stroker crawl and it seems as if they want it, like kind of reeling it on the bottom. Gosh, because I, I mean, if I had a Senko on or a stick bait, I just don't know if it would be the same, you know? I don't know if they would eat it the same way. But that is crazy how they're eating that thing. It was the same as the last one. The same thing, it just randomly hits the heck out of it. And then I, I, I envisioned the fish behind it, so I started popping it, giving it a little different movement. Then I started reeling the thing and that's when he ate it. That was crazy, man. Let's see if we can do it again. They were both right down in the middle too. They weren't even on the edge. They were right smack in the middle. Uh oh, that's a good one, guys. Oh no, he's not that big. Big as the last one. Why are you calling me? Don't call me in the middle of a fish fight now. <laughs> guys, that fish felt so big. I think it was stuck in the in the trees. Such a light bite though. He's actually smaller than that last one. That's only about a pound, pound and a half at the max. Fat little belly on him. That last one was about two pounds. He felt big though. I think he was stuck in that tree. I like pulled up and he was just like in that tree. I was getting him through the branches. So he felt like three times the size. I really thought that fish was going to be like a three pounder, maybe four pounder, but still pretty fish. Still catching them. That's all right. Right there on the edge of these trees, man, right there. Get him right back in the water. Oh yeah, a little trick shot. We're somehow still using this crawl. We are somehow still catching fish on it. Cause I'm going to be honest, this crawl was done before the last three fish. Like in my opinion, I wouldn't even have fished with it, but I was like, you know what? Let's just try it out since I have it on. So if you guys are wondering how I just caught that fish, you know, the other ones I caught out in the middle. Well, it's been super hot guys. It's been so, 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 so hot. And this fish, you know, they love to get it undercover and tuck up against it and 
you know, right here, there's a bank with a bunch of trees hanging in the water. It's, it's more of hangovers and laydowns, and, um, but it's enough for those fish to get under. So I just threw that crawl right by there. I was dragging it super slow, super, super slow. And sure enough, had that fish pick it up. But uh, then we're gonna start fan casting around here, throw up on that little seawall, see if we can catch some more fish. But if you guys see some laydowns, any shady banks, any of that stuff this time of year, you guys need to fish it. That's gonna be very beneficial. It's not gonna replenish fish like it would offshore a little bit more, but I will, oh, ooh, ooh. I can't tell if that was a bite or not. That was weird. But yeah, like this, this bite right here, on the edge of the trees and fishing covered like this, you're not gonna catch a ton, as in you're not gonna catch multiple fish in the same exact hole. I mean, you might, but the chances are slim, very slim on that. But what I will say is that, you know, this is a good way of catching some fish. So next time you go to your pond, if it's super hot, you know, those fish are trying to get out of the sun, they're getting up in this cover, they're getting in those little shady banks, that's something you really need to pay attention to. Oh my god. Yo, yo, let's go, let's go. I was reeling it, that's how they want it. That's like a three pounder. Yes, yes, yes. That's how they want it, guys. Reeling this thing on the bottom. Look at that, that's not a three pounder. It's got a three pounder body, but it's spawned out to all the max. Yo, that is so cool. Solid two pound fish right there. Look at that one, that is a beautiful bass. See how skinny he is? He could be a high two if he wasn't as skinny, but that's the two number right there. Beautiful fish, same way guys, reeling it. They want it reeled, which sucks because I'm gonna have to go dig in my car and see if I have some more stroker crawls. I know I have a lot in my boat, but I don't know if I have any in my car. Fish is bleeding a little bit, we'll get her right back in. There she goes. That is incredible guys. It's crazy how if you really pay attention to how you're catching the fish and then you start duplicating that, how it's just happening, that's how those fish feel that day. It's just incredible. Like, it's like, I've been dragging this thing super slow, but right when I start to reel that thing, like the one on the tree was a different story, but the two before that were the same way too. It was like, they want this thing to be ran on the bottom. So now we're really gonna start focusing on that. You know, it happened three times. It's not, you know, usually if it happens once, all right, maybe, maybe it was just a coincidence. Maybe if it happens two times, all right, you know, pay attention to it. But if it happens three times, Hold on now, there's something going on. There's something that the fish like about that. So now we're gonna double, did it again. That's a giant, that's a giant. I mean a giant, guys. Gi oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh. Please don't come off. It was the same way, guys, same way. Oh my God. Yes! Mm. Well, that's a good one same way and my crawl's gone and my crawl's gone right when we just figured them out that was next guys that's a three pounder <laughs> yes that fish felt so big these fish are just feeling large today i don't know they felt like a four plus all day i, I was honestly in my head thinking five to six last time i came here i caught like a seven and a five and a half so <laughs> That is awesome though. Heck yeah, we just figured these fish out, man. As we were talking about it, he's got it good too. There we go. Got that hook out. Oh, there he goes. I would love to show you that fish as you can see him swimming off right there. About a three pounder. If he's not three pounds, he's about two and three quarters pushing that, I promise you. Wow, is that not incredible? Is that not incredible? Ha we were just talking about it, guys. When you find something that works, duplicate it, duplicate it. And right there, we just saw with our own two eyes, that whole situation just go down as I was talking about it. So we don't have any crawls, but I think these are all used too. You know how I put my soft plastics back in because you know I'm against littering guys. I don't believe in leaving your plastics on the ground. Well, the only bad part about putting them back in is that you think you have a full pack and in reality you don't. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rig this, this clout right here, my six cents. I'm gonna rig it up on this Texas rig. We're gonna throw it around for a second. Now, and if we're fishing for over 10, 15 minutes and don't have another bite, 
I'm going to have to go back and, and just dig in my truck and see if I can find some stroker crawls. Like I said, I think they're all in the boat. There's some in my kayak. I don't know. That It's just crazy how we just figured out how they want to bite right there. I threw it out there as we were talking about it. started reeling. It was the first real cast of me doing that. And how do I need it? That's just how they want it. They love those tails fluttering on the stroker crawl, reeling it on the bottom. That is incredible. Well, we're going to throw around this clout for a minute, see if we can pick one up on this. And if we don't have many bites, we're gonna, we don't have a choice but to go try to find some sort of crawl that has some tails on it that's gonna flutter and put off a little bit of vibration in the water because that's exactly what those bass want right now. It's incredible how they're eating that. All right, guys, we, we gotta go find some crawls. That's our mission now. We gotta find some crawls. They ain't eating the regular Texas rig how they should. They want that crawl on the bottom. We're gonna go try to find some now. All right, so we actually found some, <laughs> thank God. So we're gonna take off that clout right there. So these are the stroker crawls in Green Pumpkin Burst. I've been using these recently. The one I had on was just a black and blue. But, you know, we found a stroker crawl. I couldn't find any black and blues. I found some prawns that were black and blue, but I don't think it's really going to matter too much. Like, this water isn't super, super stained. Like, this green pumpkin can work perfectly fine out here. I think this water out here would be fine with either green pumpkin or black and blue. They're, like, the water clarity here, it's not like chocolate milk. Like, it's, it's not one of those things where I'm like, I have to use a dark color. So, I think we're going to be good with this, but I'm excited now. I'm excited to duplicate this because... We did it four times. The first cast of where I actually did it, I got hammered by a good one. So we're gonna keep it rolling. So the trick is, this is what we're gonna do. You throw the Texas rig out there, all right? Now you let it hit, hit the bottom, okay? Boom, she's on the bottom. Now we're just gonna slow reel this thing on the bottom. Make sure you're keeping bottom contact. You gotta think in your mind that on the bank is gonna be super shallow. In the middle, it's gonna drop off a little bit. Like right now, see how my line sinking? All right, now I'm on the bottom. Now I'm gonna continue. But I think we need to make sure we keep that bottom contact. I think that's very important. So on these drop-offs, if we have to pause and let the bait sink, that's gonna be important. Instead of just straight reeling it across, you know. Oh, did you see my rod? Oh my God. Guys, this is how they want it. I mean, oh my gosh. My whole rod just went, don't. That was the next cast. Like, that's how they want this. I've never really, I've never really done this before. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I've never slow reeled a Texas rig on the bottom like this. This is very interesting. Like, I'm, I'm even learning a lot out of this day. <laughs> I've learned so much today. That's the glory of fishing, though. You know, you try different things. You start catching them doing something. And you're like, dang, like, I never knew I could do that and, like, start spanking bass. So, I mean, I've done it a few times, but I've never, like, made a pattern out of it and that's like exactly what these fish want oh my gosh that's crazy well, let's just keep on fishing there he is always a good one always a good one and I think my camera is about to die I think I'm on 1% on my camera he had it right when it hit the bank. I think this is like a three pounder. If he ain't, he's pushing it. Yeah, spawned out. Oh my God, that should have been a three three pound fish all day. That is crazy. The stroker crawl is killing it today. If you guys want to get a discount, I'll pop it up on the screen as always. But I'm gonna get this fish back in the water before my GoPro dies. <laughs> Look how long that fish is. That would have been a three pound fish if she isn't as skinny as she is. It's a beautiful two number though. Well, all right guys, I didn't get the re release on that. <laughs> I just uh GoPro died. Good thing I caught that fish. That would have sucked if I would have like hooks at him, which happens a lot actually. There's like a bunch of fish I don't even put it in videos because of that. But I like hooks at a fish and my camera dies. I'm like, oh nice. Nice. But at least we got him on the bank. You guys got to see him. Alright, <laughs> let's keep her going. One thing I noticed about that fish too is she was on the bank and you know my bait landed there. I clicked my rod and she already had it. It wasn't like what we've been doing. It just looks like they're just digging the stroker crawl, man. They love it. And they are munching it, and I'm enjoying it. It's been a fun bite. Oh, my 
gosh. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. The way that you hit that, son. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a fatty. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at the freaking fat. Look how fat that fish is. Almost a three pounder. They look so much smaller through the camera. Why is that? Can somebody please explain that if somebody else GoPros uses a GoPro while fishing, why that happens? I think it's because I have a super view on my camera. That's weird. This fish is almost three pounds. He probably is. If I put him on a scale, he'd probably be. He's just a freaking thick boy. Nice. That fish hit it so hard. God, they're just into doing some tricks today. Now let me tell you about that fish. <laughs> that was crazy. So he hit that thing so hard. Like just incredibly hard. And it didn't even feel like a bite he hit it so hard. Like I was thinking, almost questioning myself that if I hit a branch or something. And he hit it and he was already at these trees but instantly. Like that fish just demolished it. He wanted to kill that thing, let me tell you. He followed it in too. Because out there I didn't have any bites. And once I got it here, that's when he just demolished it. Same thing, just reeling that thing on the bottom super slow. That's crazy, man. It's getting the quality bites too. We haven't had one above three pounds, but let me tell you, man, we've we've had some good ones. I just really want to see that five, six, seven plus pounder. Even a four would be awesome. All right, guys, let's talk about this for a minute. Let's talk about what's kind of been going down, what I've noticed, what I've changed. So I've been throwing that bait out there. I've let it hit the bottom. At first, you know, I was like, you know, just slow roll that thing on the bottom. Make sure we're, we're making bottom contact, you know, just exactly like this, slow, really in that bait but what i noticed especially after those first two fish so i was hopping it on the bottom for the first two and right when i started reeling it the fish ate it now let me explain why i think that happened so when a fish is following your bait it doesn't matter what you're throwing it's just all going to be on how that fish is that type of day and you'd be surprised on how many fish are actually looking at your bait or following your bait throughout the day that we don't even know about so this is the thing if I was throwing this thing on the bottom and steady retrieving it, there could be a fish right behind it just following it, but he might not commit, okay? So what you want to do is add some sort of sporadic movement. I talked about this in the last episode. So what I've been doing is I've been throwing this curl out there. I let it hit the bottom, okay? And let that baby sink all the way. All right, there she is. She's on the bottom. Now I'm going to start reeling it, okay? And now I'm just going to kill it. Let it sink right back down. Let it hit the bottom. It's only about six inches from the bottom when I stop reeling it, but that's okay. So we're gonna reel it, stop it again. Let it hit the bottom. Reel it, stop it again. Let it hit the bottom. That's what I've done on a good majority of the last couple of fish. You know, oh, did you see my rod tip right there, boys? That was a perfect example. No. Oh, I felt like a good one, guys. That was a perfect example. So my point is with all that, instead of steady retrieving it, I want you guys to put pauses in it. And the reason being is because if there's a fish behind it, he might not eat it. That was the prime example we were just talking about. It just happened. Right when I paused that bait and started reeling it again, he came back and he hit it. You know why? Not because the bait was going and it was running away from him. It was because the bait was doing a bunch of jittery little things and it triggered that fish off the bite. That's so important, guys. So important. And that's what I've realized today. You know, we need to add that little movement to where the fish is going to trigger and turn and strike. You know, if we're reeling it, the fish is behind it, we kill the bait, it lays on the bottom, the fish is looking at the bait on the bottom, and then all of a sudden we start reeling it again, something inside of Bass's brain is going to tell it, I need to eat it. I need to eat that. So that's exactly what's happening. So next time you guys go out, I want you guys to try this technique. I want you guys to let me know if you guys end up catching fish on this technique. And also, you know, experiment around with the things that I've been saying. You know, who knows? They might want it just straight retrieved. Who knows? They might not want it on the bottom. They might want you just throwing it out there, reeling it. I mean, it, it just all depends. But this pause technique and reeling it on the bottom has been killing it for me today. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So next time you go out on the water, you know, you can try something different. And like I said, if you guys want to get a discount on the stroker crawls, please use my code. That helps me out. And, um, not only that, but you guys are gonna catch a lot of good fish. So I just wanted to spill that insight right there because I've been paying attention to today. I, I've you know, I've had my mind just on the fish and figuring out what they want and, and how they're reacting to the bait. So I thought I'd talk about that. If you guys enjoy these types of segments, hit that like button, let me know in the comment section down below. We'll add more of them to the videos. But I love expressing what's going on throughout the day because I think we all learn from that, even myself just talking about it. So 
let's go ahead and get back to fishing. All right, so we made it to another side of the pond that I have yet to fish today. The bite has been awesome on the other side. And I don't even know if the bite is really good today. Like I said, the fishing has just been, it's been rough recently, but I mean, all I know is what we're doing is working. So, you know, that, that could be why all the fish are biting. But what I am saying is we're at a new spot right here and we're gonna see if we can duplicate what we are doing on the other side. You know, we caught about 10 fish and we're gonna see if we can catch some more. Our thing right now is we just need a big one. Like I, we really need like that four plus pounder. We've caught some three numbers. We just need a four pounder. Like we've had plenty of quality fish, it's just, I feel like that four to five to six to seven pounder is really what's gonna take this day over the top. So we're just gonna keep on casting. Let's put a new stroker curl on. Let's see if we can cook that big one we've been waiting for. Oh, that's him. That is him. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, he's huge, guys. Oh my gosh. I have him under the gill. Oh my gosh, that is him, that is him. I don't know how I hooked him this way, but I'm praying that he stays on. Come on, baby, please, 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 please. We're just talking about you and we happen to hook you somehow and you're under the neck. Just, just let me get you. <gasps> oh, I got him, 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 I got him. Oh my God, it's huge. Oh, she ain't coming off, she ain't coming off. I got her good. Come on, baby. I'm, I'm trying to help. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why can't I land this fish? She's so she's hooked weird. Oh yes, guys. Mm. <laughs> yes. That is like a four and a half pounder, four pounder. <laughs> yes, we were just talking about it. Guys, look at that fish right there. <laughs> That is four to five pounds. That is a beautiful freaking bass. Huge too. I had her hooked under the mouth somehow. Look how fat that fish is, man. That is a beautiful one. Oh yeah, you're a heavy girl. Solid four number, man. That is exactly what we were just talking about. We need a big one. We just caught a big one. We were just talking about it. We just came here. Oh my God, baby. Thank you so much. I'll get you right back in and swim another day. Look at that beautiful bass. There she goes. That That is why you fish, guys. That is why you fish right there. You never give up. You figure the fish out, and then you duplicate it. You keep on fishing, and then you end up hooking stuff like that. That is the glory of fishing. You just never know what's gonna happen. We were just saying we needed a big fish. I literally cast it right there and caught him instantly. That's that big bass energy, baby. <laughs> that was so 